Fantastic, baby. Dance. Hello, Prior Lake. My name is Braden Odenthal. And I'm Jenna Lemaire. And, and welcome, welcome to Laker Shenanigans. There sure are a lot of ice houses out on the icy lake. You know what else is on ice? No, what, Jenna? Girls hockey. <laughs> Let's see how are they are doing so far. This year, the girls hockey team is off to a good start. Our hockey season should be going pretty well. I mean, we've only had a couple of games and so far, by the looks of it, we've come pretty far as a team. So. I think it's going to go actually extremely well. We're going to build on what we did last year, which was win our first section game against a ranked team. Um, the offense and the style of hockey we were playing is better than it's been. Girls are faster and hungrier to score, and so it holds a lot of promise. Um, I think it's going to go pretty well once we can get the lines going and get everyone working together good. Well, I'm most excited for seeing how far we can go in the postseason. I'm probably like making or forming new relationships with all the girls because we're all family and like we've all come to know each other so well over the years. Um, well, we went to Red Wing for a preseason tournament and we did a lot of really fun team bonding. Hockey plays a major part in the girls' lives as well as the coaches. I love coaching the girls because they uh, are very um, willing to accept new ideas, fresh ideas, um, and it's really fun to make a difference in young people's lives. Nice job with the season so far, ladies. Keep up the good work. The girls' hockey season is just beginning, and they are off to a great start. Those girls sure are tough. Hey, Braden, I've got a question for you. Would you consider yourself tough? No, not tough like those girls. You know who else is tough? Rugby players. I'm growing rapidly in Pyre Lake, and the students here enjoy playing this intense sport. I decided to join rugby because my friends were interested in playing, and the coach reached out to me during football season to play rugby. Uh, the physicality of it and the fact that not many people play it, so I thought I'd give it a shot and see what rugby was all about. Uh, my brother played in college and I brought it back home to me. This sport isn't like any other when it comes to fitness. Uh, there's roles for just about everybody to play, so uh, as long as you have an interest and, a, uh, and you have a passion to play, then you'll, you'll be good to go. Anybody can play rugby. Uh, Short people, fast, small, big people like me. Basically anybody that really wants to play rugby can play rugby. Uh, rugby kind of accommodates all sizes. If you're a big guy, you can play. If you're a small guy, you can play. There's a position for everything in between. Anyone can really play of any size. Um, just remember it's a contact sport, so you need to be able to receive and take a hit. If you are interested in playing this sport, talk to those who play for more information. Rugby sure sounds fun. It sounds like students are also having a lot of fun in the new Interact Club. That's right, Braden. Interact Club is new this year, and it's all about getting teens involved in their community. Let's see what they're up to. There's a new club this year called Rotary Interact. Rotary Interact is a school-affiliated and rotary-affiliated club. Um, it's a service-oriented organization, and essentially what it's trying to do is get students active in their communities. Meetings are on Thursday mornings, and they're going to start to be three times a month. Prior Lakes Interact Club has been around for only a couple of months. We currently have 17 members on our charter list, but we are really excited because we're getting more every single meeting. The Rotary Interact Club has big plans for this year. We plan on doing a lot of projects, which would be awesome if actually ended up coming to fruition. Uh, the problem is really just getting things up off the ground and getting started as a new club. Our club so far has had our Freddy's fundraiser, 
and then we've also helped out at Edgewood, but it's mostly just trying to get chartered so that we can actually be an official Interact Club. Once again, the Rotary Interact meetings are every other Thursday in room 148 at 7.20 a.m. How impressive to see teens helping out in their community. Well, I think that's a wrap, Jen. It's been a blast. See you next time, Lakers.